Hey, I'm Gopar, and this is another video in the Emacs Goodie series. Today, we're going to be talking about a package called Executable. Now, Executable, this package has primarily two functions. One, it marks the buffer that you're working with, and Executable if it's a script, and also it automatically adds a shebang line at the beginning. I think that's how you say it. Uh, at the beginning, at the top of the line that you usually see in those script files. So let's go ahead and see how that works. So if we jump to the configuration that I have, it is pretty straightforward. I'm just saying, hey, let's use this package. We don't have to ensure that it's installed because it's built in. And I have a hook that says, every time I save a file, make that buffer file executable if it's a script. So that's what's going on. So let's go jump into that file to actually see what it's going on. So here I'm jumping to the definition of that function that I just described in my hook. So like it says, make file executable if it's not already executable. So that's the main, this is the script that, I'm sorry, this is the function that I normally use when I uh, never, I'm actually working on a script file or not. But if we go to the top of the file and read it, base functionality for, for executable interpreter scripts. So it also has, like I mentioned, the ability to add a script, the shebang line at the beginning of the file. And we can do that by this command. So where's that function at? Uh, set magic, there we go. So this handy little function will create and mark, uh, well also because you're adding this, the other function will kick off about creating the script then executable. So let's go ahead and see this. So this should automatically add the shebang line and then the other function with the help of this will also make the file script into an executable. So how do we test this out? Well, if we go to, actually let's not touch this. Uh, let's go back to, mine and if we do example.sh and if I save the file we are going to see that it doesn't do anything example.sh so if we can see from the output in my mini buffer it still says read and write so not, not you're saying hey you said you lied to me you said it was gonna mark an executable well it is but we need to add the shebang line for it in order to know that it's uh, in order for us to for, in order for Emacs to know that we wanted to mark it as executable. So how do we do that? We add that function, or we call that function that we just saw, the executable set magic, this one. So if I do that, it's going to now ask me for the name of the interpreter. I'm just going to say bash, no arguments for bash, press enter, and I have the shebang right there. Now, if I save it, now I sat it, but before I save it, let me show you the example. It's still read and write, but if I save it now, it should be marked as an executable. And look at that, now we have executable right there. And if you wanna control what uh, the permissions exactly it's being passed in or the arguments for making an executable, you can always change it by shmod uh, right here. So you can change it via here and this will set the modes for it correctly. This is how you do it. But yeah, this is one way of automatically marking scripts as executable. That way you never forget. But in order for it to work, you do need to add a shebang. So you can either add it yourself, install a third-party package in Melpa that does it, or just call that function like I showed you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Remember, knowledge grows when it is shared. All right, take care.